now to the final farewell for the Queen. After 10 days of mourning, Britain's Queen Elizabeth has been laid to rest. More than a million people lined the streets of London today. Many tossed flowers at the Queen's hearse as it traveled to Windsor Castle. We have live team coverage for you tonight from London. Ali Bauman will have more on the celebration of life, but we begin with Christine Johnson and the historic moments we witnessed together. You know, Great Britain, known for its elaborate ceremonies and elegant rituals, and those traditions on full display today at the state funeral held for Queen Elizabeth II. From the Palace of Westminster to Westminster Abbey and St. George's Chapel, The state funeral for Queen Elizabeth II was the culmination of years of planning. At the king's request, a wreath made of roses, hydrangeas, and dahlias cut from royal gardens, along with a handwritten card from the new sovereign adorned her coffin. Two of the youngest heirs to the throne joining the royal family as the queen's coffin made its way down the same aisle she walked the day she was married. The new national anthem seemed at times too much for the king. A reminder of his mother's passing and the responsibility he now inherits. Millions line the streets from London to Windsor, waiting hours to catch mere glimpses of Her Majesty's procession. Queen's coffin rounding Buckingham Palace a final time, then carefully transferred to the royal hearse for the 25-mile drive to her castle in Windsor. By the time it reached the long walk, flowers littered the windshield and hood, her beloved corgis and fell pony waiting to greet her. Inside St. George's Chapel, final prayers, then her orb, scepter, and imperial crown separated from Her Majesty before being lowered into the royal vault. A stunning picture released late Monday of the now resting queen with a quote King Charles included in his first public address as sovereign. May flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. And tonight she rests next to her husband, her parents, and also her sister at St. George's Chapel.